Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to another video. In today's video I'm going to be doing a bit of a perfume collection video. Um, there's been a lot of requests for this and I'm not really sure why because I don't really talk about perfumes to be honest. Um, as you can see I have quite a lot of perfumes behind me here. Um, I tend to stick to the same few and have done for many years. I just get lots of smaller ones in calendars and boxes um, just to try out and I just tend to gravitate to the same few. So yeah. But you guys wanted to see it, so I'm going to show you my collection. I'm absolutely rubbish at describing scents, so I'm not even going to try. I'll just tell you if I like them or I don't like them. And I'll link them down below as well if you want to check out the description of them on like, websites and stuff. So these are all the perfumes, I'm just going to pop them on my drawer. So yeah, a lot of them are miniatures. Um, I've also got quite a few little sample ones as well, you know, when you just get little testers. And I try to use them, but sometimes I just forget and, you know, I just reach for the same big perfume. Yeah, these are my little samples as well, so just put them in front of me. Okay, so I'm going to start with my main ones. My favourite perfume and my main go-to every single day is Alien. This has been my favourite for many, many years. I wear this day or night. It's just such a nice scent. It's just my favourite scent. So, yeah, I always, I always rebuy this one. I always get some for Christmas. And yeah, it's just, just a nice scent. So, that is the one that I wear most days. I have two other favourites. The first one is YSL Black Opium. This one, I prefer to wear this in the winter or when it's cold. I'm not really sure why, but oh, it's just so nice. But yeah, if I was going out on a night out or something, I'd probably wear this as well. Um, I just think it's such a gorgeous scent. So yeah, that is my other go-to. And then the third one, uh, which is my favourite, is the Lancome La Vie Belle. Um, so as you can see, I've not used much of this. This is, I'd say this is more of like a summery scent, so this is probably one that I would take on holiday with me um, or wear at the moment. The Alien one for me is like an all, all year round one, but yeah, this is definitely more spring, summer sort of scent for me. I love the bottle, obviously it is see-through. I know you're supposed to keep your perfumes like hidden, like in the drawer or in the dark or something to make the scent last longer. This has been out on the back of my drawer there. So I mean, when I'm filming, I've obviously got my blind shut, but I've got lights on, so yeah but it's fine i do really like that one as well so those are like my three main ones that i would tend to gravitate to i've also got this little alien one this is like a handbag one so this came in a set but this is literally just alien perfume in here just one that you can shove in your bag and spritz on the go so i think that's really handy i think i got that for christmas a couple of years ago but not really been anywhere because of like lockdown and covid and stuff so yeah that'll be another one that i take on holiday with me another perfume that i do really like is this one from rihanna so this is i want to say rebel fleur i'm not really sure because i don't have the lid for it and it doesn't actually does it say on the bottom it does it says rebel fleur by rihanna now this is so so affordable it's, it's much cheaper than the rest of the perfumes um and i like to just have this in uh, this is just an easy spritz it doesn't last as long as the other ones um, but it's really nice and sometimes I also use it as like a room spray in here. And this is just a really nice scent. Super affordable. I think you can get this in Superdrug. She's done a couple of different ones. Um, but this is the one that I like. So yeah. Now I've got a couple more like full size perfumes that I've tried a couple of times but not really worn much. The first one is this one. This is Viva La Juicy Pink Chore. The bottle on this is absolutely stunning. Look at the ribbon. So, so nice. And then we've got this design here. Super, super pretty. And then the lid comes off like this and it's just a spritz top there. This is like really, really sweet. So this is probably not something I'd wear a lot of. I don't really know how to describe the scents I go for, but those are the main three. <laughs> really, really sweet. It is nice, but just not my favourite. So I've not really reached for it much. Or like, well, I've only had a few sprays out of that to be honest. Um, another one is this Wow by Dupe. This I got a couple of years ago, um, and again I've hardly used this. Can't remember what this one smells like. Oh yeah, that is nice. Hmm, I like that one. Maybe that's more of like a wintry one for me again. I forgot how nice that one was. I like that. Yeah, it's quite nice. That's a fairly new one, I want to say. Maybe 2019. And then the final big one is this one, and I'm not really a fan of this to be honest. This is the Jimmy Choo Illicit Flower. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I think I liked it at first. You know when you have a sample and you smell it once, you think, oh, that's nice. Then when you actually get the full size, you're like, mm, I don't really know actually. Yeah, I think it's just, 
It's a little bit strong, there's just something in it that just gets me a bit like, ugh. It's all right. But yeah, I'd only reach for that, I think, if everything else had run out. It's not really my favourite one. But yeah, so that's that one. Um, and then the rest of them are miniatures. But yeah, I'm not very adventurous with my perfume at all. I did have a favourite quite a while ago, which was the um, Armani City Glam, and they discontinued it. And that made me so, so sad. <laughs> but um, I've got one little bottle of that, it's actually downstairs, um, that I keep for like special occasions. And I'll just try and make it last. But yeah, I really wish they'd bring that one back. But other than that, Alien's just my safe go-to. The Black Opium and the Long Con one. They're just fades and they're just easy. So those are the main ones that I wear. Now, I do like to try other ones. Um, some of these miniatures are fab. Um, I've got three miniatures of Black Opium. So like, I get a lot of these in calendars. Like I used to get the, in the Selfridges Advent calendar years ago, I used to get like five or six perfumes at a time. I don't think we've got as many this year. I think we've got like three, I think. But I've definitely got other ones in other calendars. Um, yes, yeah, so we've got, oops. So we've got three of these little black opiums. Now those two are just like the big ones. So it's like the black outside. But then I've also got this one, which is lighter. Now it's exactly the same one. It's just a different, like, outside of it. But that's exactly the same. But these are fab for going on holiday. When I do go away, I tend to take miniatures like this because I can just use like one entire bottle in a week or so. Uh, one for daytime, one for nighttime, And they're just really fab, so it's a way to get through it. You don't have to take a huge bottle that's heavy and then you have to carry it back as well. Take that, use it, leave it. So yeah, I do like those. Now another little miniature that I'm actually using at the moment. Oh, is it gone? This one. This is Flower Bomb by Victor and Rolf. Now that is the tiniest amount left. I love this. I've just never got around to getting the full size because I've already got these other perfumes and I keep getting little miniatures of it. So I've had quite a few miniatures. I think I gave one to my sister. But yeah, it's just so nice. This is such a gorgeous scent. Um, I definitely get the full size of this one because it is stunning. I love this scent. So yeah, I'm just finishing off this little mini now. And then I've got another little mini. Um, but yeah, I really, really like that one. So I definitely would get that in full size and add that to my like, full size collection. Another one I'm actually really liking as well, that again, I've got two of, I don't know why, is the Chloe Nomaid. Nomaid? I don't know how you say it properly. Um, this one. I've got two of these. This is so nice. Oh, that is such a nice scent. Um, really, really like that one. That's like, I was going out for a meal, you know, getting all dressed up in my favourite outfit or whatever. This would be like my go-to scent for that. It's just so nice. So yeah, I might actually get the full size of that one because I do really like that. Another scent I really like is also from Victor and Rolf, I think. But anyway, it's the Bon Bon. So that's the packaging for this one miniature one so so cute this was from a calendar as well i think oh someone else oh that's just so nice as well that's a little bit sweeter but it's stunning i absolutely love that i would definitely have that full size as well super super pretty love that scent okay so i've got some more mini like aliens but i think these are different scents are they i did have like a mini purple alien one but i don't know where that's gone but i've got these two little ones so I don't know if these are actually different ones. It does say alien on the bottom, on both of them. Even though one's pink and one's... Is it just a different bottle? Oh, that's a different scent. Slightly different. Hmm, that's nice. So that one's more of like a pinky one. So yeah, I don't know what that is. I could Google it if I wanted to. Um, and then this one's more like, like a yellowy kind of one. Yeah, they just smell slightly different. I don't know. They do quite a few different ones, so I don't have like more like similar ones. I don't know. They're both nice anyway. Oh, this is the one that we got in was this the John Lewis calendar? I can't remember what calendar it was. It's the Hermes one. Oh my god, this is amazing. This is Lom Lombre de Maves. It smells so nice. And I've not even used it yet. I smelled it at Christmas, not used it since. Oh, that is amazing. That's the cutest packaging as well. So that's the packaging. You can kind of see through it. But it even comes with this little string, so you can put the string on it. But anyway, that is such a gorgeous scent. I think I'd love that one as well. We've got a miniature of the Armani Diamonds. I did have a full size of this and I finished it off last year, I think. So this is the miniature. This one is nice. It's not my favourite, but it's still nice. Yeah, I used the full size one up anyway. Um, 
yeah there's a little miniature there this one the lid comes off so so easily this is oh it's another Lancome one this one is called Trezor Trezon I don't know it's probably on the bottom if I wanted to look but this is the packaging is so nice but the lid comes off so so easily this smells so good as well. Yeah, I really like that one. Long on perfumes are just really nice, aren't they? Okay, the next one then is Mon Paris. I don't even know what brand this is. Oh, it's a YSL one. YSL Mon Paris. So this is the bottle here. Little cute miniature one. I love how the miniatures always look like big ones. Oh, that one is nice. Ooh. Oh, I love that one. Oh, that's really nice. Mmm, YSL are amazing as well. Yeah, I like that one. That might be on my Christmas list as well. And then, oh, I've got a Versace Eros Pour Femme. Um, the Versace men's one is nice. Um, and this is the ladies' version. The packaging is unreal. So, mmm, oh, I like that one too. Oh my god. Well, this hasn't been helpful, has it? Because now I'm going to have a list of full-size perfumes that I want to buy. Okay, next we've got a little one in a box. This is the Daisy by Marc Jacobs. Now, I think my sister likes this one. I might give this to her. I've not tried it, but... That's nice. Just a little miniature. The packaging is so, so cute. Fit with the daisy. Really nice. That's a quite popular one, isn't it, that one? Uh, yeah, I might see if she wants that because I'm clearly not using it, am I? This one, I don't actually know what this one is. It says, SA Designer Parfum Limited. Doesn't say what it is. Now, looking at it, I think this might be a J-Lo one or something that I've got in a glossy box. If anybody knows what this is, comment down below because I'm not really sure. I'll have to start googling shapes of bottles to see if I can find what it is. I think it might be a J-Lo one. Oh, I can smell this one now. I think that smells nice. <laughs> I can smell the YSL one on my wrist. Yeah, I mean it wasn't a bad smell anyway. But yeah, normally it says it on the bottom, but it doesn't. I don't know. I don't know what that one is, but quite nice um and then we've got this is a glossy box one this is the mitchell and peach flora number one fine edition eau de parfum this little miniature one now i don't know if i smelt this at the time of receiving this but i've recently tried the body oil and something else and oh the body lotion body butter or something it wasn't, it wasn't very nice hmm it's okay it's just it's not really something i'm actually gonna wear that so I can probably go. Then we've got these three from Jimmy Choo. These came in like a set. Three kind of big tubes. So Eau de Parfum, Eau de Toilette, and Eau de Toilette. Oh, okay. So we've got, tell me the name of them. Okay, we don't know the name. Throw them in this eyelash box. Oh, that one's nice. Mmm, I like that. I don't know what it is though. It just says natural spray Eau de Parfum. That one's really nice. Oh, this one says exotic on it. That's not different. Ooh, that one's nice. I'm guessing this one's going to be the same as the first one, but this is the oldest palette. Oh, they're really nice. Why haven't I not tried them yet? They smell lush. So yeah, there's three there. With that on them. So yeah, I've got those three. I think they came in a set, like in a box. And I just got rid of the box because it was quite bulky. Um, but yeah. I like those, I'm going to start wearing them. Okay, next then I've got a uh, replica Lazy Sunday Morning. This was in a calendar. I don't think I like this. Hmm. Yeah, it's not really me. It's alright. This was in a calendar of some sort, but yeah, that's not really for me. Let's see if somebody wants to try that out because I'm not going to wear that. Oh, I've got another miniature. Armani Code. Oh, this has got makeup on the top. <laughs> uh, this is such a cute little bottle. Ignore the makeup on it. Look at that bottle. Like a really nice pattern on it. Hmm. That's quite nice. Hmm. Not really my fave just from that smell. Might have to wait for it to sell. Now this next one, this is a little bit different because it's not just regular perfume, it's actually hair fragrance. And this is from Show Beauty. Really nice bottle. I'm using the Show Beauty products at the moment. Um, yeah, this is hair fragrance. So it's meant to be, yeah, it smells nice. And the products do smell really nice from this brand. Um, but yeah, this is specifically for hair. I'm not sure if you're meant to actually spray perfume on your hair because 
I'm pretty sure I've heard that you're not meant to. I just generally spray it. This is one specifically for the hair, so you can spray this one on the hair, which is well. Uh, then I've got this little miniature tester. I mean, the rest of them are just testers now, so I'll show you what I've got to try. This is BDK Parfums Bouquet de Anguille. So I'll just show you the box for that one. I've got this little one here to try. I'm not going to spray any more right now because I've got too many on already. That's just going to get confusing. Um, I've then got two of these sets of the Floral Street ones. Now, do you remember these? One of these, was it this one that I got in Harrods one on Christmas Day last year? Worst Christmas Day ever. Um, yeah, there's quite a few. I've never tried any of these. I've just not reached them. Just, I feel like we got so many of them in different boxes um, that I just haven't been really bothered about them. Okay, so they're largely the same. So in this one we've got Wild Vanilla Orchid, which we've got there. Iris got a sublime one, yep. Lotus, yep. Ylang Ylang, yep. And in this one we've also got Arizona Bloom, Neon Rose, Electric Rhubarb, and Wonderland Peony. Yeah, I've just never tried them. I will try them. I'll get down to it. So yeah, I've got those there. I've also got this little one here. This was in the Let's Face It Beauty Box for May. And this is a sample of the Ariana Grande perfume. And it's actually really nice. It's more of a sweet one as well. Um, but yeah, so that is in there. So when that runs out, I'm going to try and put another perfume in there. And then we've got all these little sample tester kind of ones. We've got Viva La Juicy, Balenciaga. Oh, I tried the Balenciaga this morning. It wasn't that nice, I don't think. Uh, we've got a Kenzie, a Angel, not Alien, Angel, Cobalt Amber, Kayale, Chloe No Maid. I like this one. Um, oh, we've got another Angel one. We've got Angel. We've got all oh, that molten brown fiery pink pepper. They're more bathroom sprays for me. They're not really a perfume. English Laundry Pour Femme. That doesn't sound like a perfume for me, does it? Oh, that doesn't smell too bad, actually. Hmm. But yeah, I've got quite a lot of those to get through as well. I think that's all of them. So yeah, so that was my perfume collection. Um, oh, I've also got a sample of the new Ariana Grande, or not, is it probably not new, is it? Ariana Grande R.E.M. This was in the Generation Glossy Box. So yeah, I have that as well. So guys, that was the entirety of my perfume collection. Um, I do have quite a lot, even though, I've, like I said, I stick to the same three perfumes, but now I've had to just smell all those miniatures again. I've realized that there are actually some that I quite like in bigger sizes. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna mix it up now going forward. This has probably been quite good for me actually, just to mix things up a little bit. But yeah, my faves are definitely Alien, Lancome um, and YSL. Um, new ones that I just smelt then that I actually really liked. That YSL one, what was that? YSL Mon Pari, that was really nice. Uh, another one of my faves is Flower Bomb, the Hermes one, that is gorgeous. Chloe No Maid, Bon Bon, the other Lancome one, Tresor, I don't know how you say that one. Oh, the Versace one was really nice as well, wasn't it? And the Jimmy Choo set as well. So yeah, that's quite a lot actually. But yeah, anyway, that is, those are my perfumes. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, like I said, I find it really hard to describe scent, but you guys wanted to see this video, so this is what I've done for you, so you can see what I've got. Yeah, as I use these up, they will be in my empties videos, so we'll give a full recap of what I thought of the perfume. But yeah, let me know your favourite perfumes in the comments down below, let me know if you like any of these, or if there's any that I should try that you recommend. Um, I'll try to link as many of these down below as I can, if I can find out what they are like, I don't even know what this one is. If you know this one, let me know in the comments down below. I don't know what it is. Why has it not got the name on it? Weird. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, also hit subscribe and I'll see you soon for another video.